So without further ado, introducing the 5-7 chord. Okay, the 5-7 chord. In chapter 2, we learned that a triad, a three-note chord, consists of the root, the note for which the chord is named, the third, which is the third scale note from the root, and the fifth, which is the one, two, three, four, five, fifth scale note from the root. A seventh chord adds the seventh scale note from the root, making a four note chord. So here it is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a D triad, add the seventh scale note from the root, we end up with D7, which is the five, seven chord in the scale of G. Here's the G scale, one, two, three, four, five, there's D, five, seven chord. So we're gonna try the example in the middle of page 33, the key of G, D7 to G, it goes like this. So it's five, seven to the one chord in the key of G, or D7 to G. Now here's the same thing in the key of C. G7 is the five, seven chord in the key of C. One, one, two, three, four, five. G triad, seventh note from the root. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's G7. Let's try the example for key of C. One. C chord. G7 chord. Now, it's important to know about this because this chord change, 5, 7 to 1, happens in almost every piece of music. And it's so important, it's called the dominant chord. So the 5, 7 chord is also called the dominant 7th chord.